Good morning. It's Monday. We're at school. Things are going pretty smoothly so far. <laughs> you know, 9 o'clock in the morning. So, book talks. Book talks all around. One of the books I read this week that I loved was If We Were Us. So, it is about a boarding school, which I'm a fan of. I love a boarding school book. And it's about a group of friends. There are twins in it who are good friends, but they're not like always right next to each other kind of twins. They actually live in different buildings and they have the same sort of friends. It's a romance. So the one of the twins falls in love, the other twin falls in love. What I love about it though is that it just seems so obtainable. Like a lot of boarding school books, I'm like, yeah, no, that would never. What? Not having ever been to a boarding school, who knows? But I'm just saying, some of them seem more believable than others. So I really like this. One of the love interests is a gay couple, and the other ones are um, straight couples. I really enjoyed the banter between them and the fact that they were all friends. And it was it was a little heart wrenching. I might have cried. A little dewy-eyed, maybe not all the way cried. It was really good. We don't have it yet. It's actually not published yet. But when we get, it is published, we will get it. It's just really great. But if you want that sort of um, gay couple romance, what if it's us, which I know sounds eerily familiar <laughs> like the other one. I don't know why people title books like this. is also really good. They meet while he's dropping off a box of his ex-boyfriend's things at a post office. And so it's a meet cute, and then this whole story unfolds. It's really good. I've also read it. So this one, Everything All at Once. It is about a girl whose aunt has recently died, and she's left her a series of breadcrumbs in the form of letters, things that she wants her to do. Her niece is sort of anxious. She has panic attacks, and she's trying to stretch her out of her comfort zone. And so she's left her these list of things to do. And it, it carried on like that. It reminded me a lot of uh, little blue, 13 Little Blue Envelopes, I think is what it's called, until you got to the part where it went a little sideways. So... I won't give it away because if I tell you what it reminds me of, it'll completely ruin the whole book. But I really did like it. It's an adventure. It is an adventure, which I really enjoy. But it's not the kind like where there's pirates or glaciers or bears chasing you kind of thing. But there was an adventure. She did get to go on all of these cool trip things because her aunt sent her these letters. So really enjoyed that one. All right. This is our story. So this is set in Louisiana. And there are five boys who are best friends who hang out all the time. And one weekend, they go hunting, and only four of them come back. So obviously, it's a mystery. And the whole story trying to figure out how it happens. This is our story refers to the fact that the boys talk when it first happens, when they find the body, and they're like, okay, this is what we're going to tell people. And they continue to tell people that same story the entire time, thinking if none of them claimed responsibility, then none of them would actually get in trouble. Yeah, you know, that's not how life usually works. So it didn't work for them either, but it's a really good story. All right, this is the book that I'm most conflicted about, This Darkness Mine. So we also have a mystery. I'm very confused about that because there was no mystery. There's no mystery. There's no mystery except how this psychotic girl managed to appear to be not psychotic for so long. That's really the only mystery. Like, she's crazy. She's so, so crazy. Like, Wrapped up crazy in some more craziness. But, I mean, I did read it in one day, so how bad could it have been, right? It's about a girl who discovers she has an absorbed twin. So there were two of them in utero, and not long after they figured out there were two, all of a sudden there was just one. There's this whole phenomenon where the other baby isn't viable, and the cells are sort of absorbed by the other baby. It happens. It's pretty close. I'm not going to say common, because what do I know about genetics and twins? But it does happen. I know people in my own life who have had that happen to their pregnancies. So, But she just takes it and just spins it all the way out of control. It really was the strangest book. I think I read it so fast because I couldn't understand what was happening. Like, what? Even? Okay. So anyway, I can't figure out where else we should put it. So it'll probably still be a mystery for a while, because we don't have a section for psychotic people. I don't. We should. Maybe. But anyway, This Darkness Mind, if you like a good crazy lady story, this one's for you. All right, guys, 
Um, I'll be reading some more books this week. Hopefully you guys are reading something. Come tell me what you're reading. I'm always looking for book suggestions. Have a great week.